Okay, so the game just crashed. That was the first time the game crashed in the middle of recording. Which is pretty good, like, the game is fairly stable, it seems. And we're back here. Do I have to get the loot? I have to get the loot again. But we don't have to fight the enemy again. I mean, it, it doesn't have that much DRM in this game, so maybe that's a, that's why it's so stable. It's fairly old, this game. I mean, it's not, not that old, but... It's before Origin, it's before you play, I think. So, you know, all that junk comes after and it's not present in this game. And the lag. There's still the lag things. Hmm, I hope it doesn't crash anymore. There is a thing up there. Is that a... What is that? It's jumping around. I'm not hitting it. There, it's walking back and forth up there. Huh, anyway, let's just keep going. I don't know what that is. What was I saying before the game crashed? I don't remember now. Alright, well, we're going in here, and that's what we're doing. And... And... Okay, this is a really big secret. By big, I mean it goes in a long way. Leg spikes. He who eats with the devil must have a very long spoon. What does that mean? I don't. I'm not familiar with that one. What's this? Frog's way. Uh, okay, let's go into the doors. Groin and uh, what's that stuff? That's hmm, interesting. I have to is it death if I fall down there? I think it is. One, I think these numbers tell us where to go. Humpty Dumpty. I've heard self-reliance is a virtue. Now you've heard it. That was not helpful, cat. Humpty Dumpty. Uh, right. done this before? Walk around, get teeth, pull levers, walk around some more. Haven't we done this before? Why are we still doing this? Now we're back to the pointless platforming. Oh, it's these guys. Ok, 
Come on. Show me your face. Come on. There we go. Pretty easy stuff. I don't even know what the point of those things are. I mean, look. Okay, it's a game, right? And maybe you assume that a game requires enemies. But don't, don't do that. Think, think critically about what you're doing. You know, you don't just put in a game, I mean, you don't just put in enemies just for the sake of having, of having enemies. You know, you need to make sure that the enemies contribute to the game in some way. Uh, by contributing the game to the game, I mean, you know, how does this make the game more fun? And by making it more fun, I mean, how does this convince people to spend more money on the game, you know? That's what the game's about. Convincing people to spend money on it. Like, everything you put, every puzzle, every enemy... You should be asking the question, how does this convince people to give me more money? <laughs> Basically, that's it. I mean, sometimes it leads to some pretty bad outcomes. Like Zynga. But, you know, it, it's still... A, a game is still a... It's a product, you know? You have to sell it. You're supposed to make money from it. Am I going up? I think I am. Let's just check what's down here. How does this make the game more fun? How does this convince people to buy more DLC? People want to play games to, to be entertained. To be happy. To maybe see something new. That's an interesting obstacle. I mean, if you're not in the business of selling games for money, then okay, then you can just make whatever you want, right? But, um, you know, if you don't need the money, then you're in a pretty good position, I guess? Most people aren't in that position, let's just say that. And if you are making games to sell for money, then... That's basically what you have to ask all the time. How does this convince people to pay for it and buy it and give me money for it? Which comes back to the question, is this the type of gameplay that makes me want to spend more money on this game? It's not, to be perfectly honest. Parts of this game are really good, and then other parts are not. This part, not. You just have to be honest about this. Are you kidding me? You can't see the obstacle before you fly into it. Look, how, how can I time this jump? I can't even see it. Just walk 
up and smash away. Turn around. Okay, camera, that doesn't help. I mean, you just walk up and smash it, is that entertaining? Not really. And then there's more platforms. I don't even know where I'm going with all this. Alright, so we're going this way. And this way, and here. Do I have time to do that? You're kidding me. Um, okay, now that I'm up here... Where am I going? That way? Was that what I'm, where I'm going? I think it is. This way. Did I miss any secrets? I don't think so. There's more platforms, more rooms, more teeth. I can hear a pig snout. I don't see it though. And pull another switch. You know, this is just walk around, kill some enemies, pull a switch. It's so repetitive. Which way am I going? It's that there. But what's here? Okay, there's a bottle, teeth. The pig snout is back there somewhere. Is that breakable? Or do I just walk over there? Hold on. I broke something. Not what I thought I was meant to break though. Let's just uh, go up. I don't know if that's the exit or not. This. No, that's not an exit, is it? That's a dead end. I will grab that stuff and we're supposed to go up. Right. Whoa, hey. Um, yep, okay. So I broke this open, what does this do? I don't know what that does. Let's go over here for now. Grab that. Okay, I think I understand what that does. Let me just... No, stop that. Just drop that there. And then I can walk into the house this way. Right? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. I have to do that again. Fail. 
Come on. Come on, platforms. Alright, and then we jump up. Oh my god, jump up. Go through here. Wait a minute, is that a s There's nothing back here. What am I fighting? We're fighting those things. It's too far away for me to hit it. Or maybe it's not. Come back, bro. Come back. Yes. The oh my god, it's just more and more stuff. It's just more and more stuff. 